Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you everything that has been added, changed and fixed in Minecraft Snapshot 21W20A. The snapshot just released a couple of minutes ago and I'll be going through all the new additions, changes and bug fixes of this snapshot. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft Snapshot videos and Minecraft Snapshot live streams. Because yes, I'm currently also doing a live stream, so there will not be any editing in this video. But if you don't want to miss future Snapshot live streams, then please make sure to subscribe. But let's just get started with today's Snapshot 20W20A. So we'll just create a new world, especially for this Snapshot. And there is also an updated data pack. But no real changes, I think. But we'll see what happens. So 20W20A. And we will go into creative as well. And we'll just join a new world. So this snapshot is called Grounded Plants. And the description is another snapshot is now going out. This time around we fixed quite a few bugs. But also introduced some changes to a few of the caves and cliffs features. And additionally we added some extra content context for the narrator. Ah, that's pretty cool because in this live stream we actually used the narrator a bunch and we had it read out a whole lot of stuff which was pretty funny but we'll see what happens there then oh no they've added other stuff to the, the, the narrator i think so <laughs> that's gonna be bad for future uh, snapshot live streams but for now let's see what's in this snapshot so in the previous snapshot they said that they made amethyst geodes rarer but they didn't actually so this time they should have made Amethyst geodes much more rare. So if we go underground here and we, let's give ourselves some night vision as well. So we can see the geodes a bit, a bit clearer as well. So let us give ourselves some night vision. And let's not add particles please because I hate particles. There we go. Alright we also got a donation during the snapshot uh, live stream. Thank you Psycraft so much for the 5 euro donation. And he just said hi. Thank you, Psycraft, so much. And yes, let's see. So there are indeed... Well, yeah, I think the number of geodes has definitely, well, diminished. So we see a couple of geodes over here. There's actually nothing here, like no caves at all. That seems... Hmm, that seems wrong. So below the ocean, there doesn't seem to be any caves. So that's a bit strange. But we do see some geodes around. And indeed, there, there are less than in previous snapshots. Also, before I go on with the rest of the changes, there is something else important. Because we got a tweet by Cory uh, Shivak earlier this day, and he just said 610. So, we are guessing, or at least I'm guessing, that this is a hint at the release date of Minecraft 1.17. We're not sure, it's just uh, speculating, but 610 might mean that Minecraft 1.17 will come out on the 6th of June, because of course 610 easily translates over to the or the 10th of June, like this, so June 10th, which might be the release date of 1.17, but that's not confirmed yet. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Then next up, as I said, GUI narration now includes position and usage of hovered or focused element. So, well, yeah, let's turn on the narrator. The narrator is in the chat settings and then right here. Narrator, Nar narrator, narrates all button. Yes, Options. and so it will narrate everything we cursor or done button. hover over. Screen element 12 out of 12. Screen element Left 12 out of 12? Activate. What? Game menu. Use it narrates a whole lot of stuff now. To select element. Crafting. Use mouse cursor or tab button to select element. Oh, it actually gives hints on how to do it. So if you hover over one of these blocks, it says... Oh, it doesn't say it again. Huh. That's that's cool. They've added a lot more uh, usability to their narrator then. And yeah, also for position. Yeah, so they they, they tell you where to go, right? Yeah, so they tell you how to get elements or how to get uh, items here. Oh, huh, that's that's quite nice. There's lots of stuff added there then, I'm guessing. Nothing here though. Okay, so that's more additions to the narrator. I don't think many people will use that, so let's move on. So, uh, tilling rooted dirt with a hoe now uh, converted to dirt and pop out a hanging roots item. Rafting. Okay. Also, you let me turn off the narrator because it's very annoying. So, narrator. Off. there we go. We'll turn it off. So, let's grab some rooted dirt. And let's grab a hoe. 
and we will just hold this dirt and <coughs> this dirt to see what happens there we go what <laughs> what what is <laughs> what is that hanging roots I <laughs> that's huge look at <laughs> okay I'm sorry I just I got very distracted there yeah so if you have a hanging or if you have a root of dirt and you hoe it with a hoe or till it it drops a mm, comically big hanging root item um next axles will now only play that when in water all right so they will lo no longer axles will no longer play that when they're on land but apparently yeah, well, of course they'll just go over to the water as soon as possible and then also if you're in peaceful mode um, previously llamas would still spit at you but now apparently that should be fixed so let's grab some llamas right here trade llama as well why not and let's go into survival and let's go into peaceful as well now if you hit one of these llamas yep as you can see they will no longer spit at you also for the normal llamas this uh, well has been fixed pretty much because yeah, they could still spit at you when you were still in peaceful. Next, let's see. Um, we have uh, an updated data pack, but I don't see any updates for the data pack. So apparently there is a new data pack, but there are no new features in the new data pack. It's just that the data pack works for 21W20A. Also a new MBT data tag. Um, for entities has been added and it's called has visual fire and it will cause any entity with this flag to visually appear on fire if they're actually not on fire so if you have a entity and well you can set it on fire of course by using a flint and steel but this entity data tag actually makes it so that the entity is on fire but doesn't take damage or actually is not on fire but it just has this texture on top of it as you can see here and then there are also a whole lot of bug fixed. Ah, wait, there's also bug 610 that has been fixed. So that could also be a hint to, well, what Corey was saying before, right? He said 610, also bug 610 has been fixed. And it's called grass, flowers, and snow are placed incorrectly in newly generated chunks. So that might be that, I'm not quite sure what it means, but apparently it has been fixed. It seems like a very old, uh, bug so I'm not quite sure if this is just another hint at the update 1.17 coming out on June 10th or if it's a real bug that has been fixed then next there are a whole bunch more bug fixes but all of these are for recent versions and are just important stuff that they need to fix before the next update and I'm just reading through it and I don't think there is anything important um, one thing maybe the light block if you grab a light block it now has a different texture once again and it also has a purple color since it's only available through commands so be before it just had a white color now it has a purple color so yeah this is what light block looks like now the text is now also in yellow which previously it was in black I think so that's different mm, let's see is there anything else important uh, amateur geodes no longer overlap with dungeons and let's see ah only one glow light can drop if when using shears on multiple in a single block space right so if you have if you had glow lichen let's grab some glow lichen and they were in this sort of orientation like this and you used shears on them they would only drop one instead of three Let's see if there's now a big fix. So we have one, and if we go into survival mode and grab this, then we will get four indeed. So there we go. That's that. And there are, of course, more bug fixes. If you want to read about them, just go down below into the description and read through all these bug fixes yourself. I will check the live chat to see if I've missed anything super important. Let's see. No, I don't think so. I don't see anything too important in the live chat. So that's that. I hope you all enjoyed this snapshot video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more micro videos like this one. And if you want to 
And then I want to thank my tier 3 members, uh, Xiong 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 Xiong, and the Smigalar, thank you so much for going tier 3 members. If you also want to become a member, click the blue join button in the video to check out the different tiers. There we go, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one, so until then, mm, bye bye!